hello and welcome to youtube channel i'm your guy paul so this is the part two of html so the last time we left at the unordered list so this video today i'll be showing you more about forms and tables in html so guys the first thing you have to know you have to understand that forms are usually and used uh, in web pages for example talking about the registration form the login form the other form that you may want so straight to the topic so we are talking about forms so you need to understand more about forms so what are forms so you're talking about an html form is an area of the document that allow users to enter information into fields so basically talking about the form for example you're talking about the login form the login form you may be talking of uh, your username and the password so a form may be used to collect personal information, opinions, in polls, user preferences, and other kinds of information. So guys, in this video today, I'll be showing you briefly about the theory part of it. And then in my next video, I'll be showing you about more about the practical bit of it. We will be creating forms and uh, using the other form. So... If you need a link to the previous video about the way we left the part one, I'll just give a link in the description. So the next thing you have to understand about forms, guys, you're talking more about forms. So you we understand more about forms. There are two basic components of our web form. So you have the shelf the part that the user fills out under the script so the first one you have in the shell this is where you fill in your information maybe during the login form you're using the username and the password sign up form maybe the full name date of birth and other details that are required depending on the type of the form so you're talking about the two parts of the shell and script script now is this uh, about the processing of the information so going to the next thing about the HTML tags. So you're talking about the HTML of uh, forms and the forms you're talking about the uh, forms, the attributes and the tags and tags used to make the forms better. So here under the form, we'll be talking about some things, maybe the radio buttons, the check boxes, the drop down menus and more, which I'll show you in my next video practically so we're gonna pass about the theory part of theory bit of it and then we'll be going to the practical bit of uh, the form so you're talking about the example of a form so you're talking about let's assume that this page is now the form so you have to understand what you're talking about the first name we have first name that's a label last name that's a label but the part that you will fill in information it's called the that's now the text box so you have to understand the tags used to used in uh, giving the label and also the text box you also have types of shots this now you drop down menu at this point you, are, you have items so you select one of them so you're having size size the good thing the radio button you only select one you just select one you only have one option so you're talking about the check boxes then the text area text area you can limit the size also have the buttons this now the buttons you're talking about the reset button and submit button so these are submit button now proceed to the next level resetting now like uh, the previous things that you'll be doing before this uh, point so the form shell that's where you are filling in your information so I'll be talking a bit of it so the form shell has three important parts so guys you know the form you're talking about the form tag then that's where you key in the information you'll be using the text boxes as you've seen in the previous page you're using the text box check box and a drop down menu and other things so use form elements like text boxes and radio buttons so after that you have to submit that the submit buttons 
which triggers the script to send the entire information so now you're talking about the information that you've entered now you'll be linking that this is now where we will be using the anchor tag which will be linking the two pages that's where you click to the certain link then it will direct you to a certain page or a certain site depending to the how you are putting your code so creating the shell this shell we have this now the part the shell is now the part the two king information so you have to create form shell type that is you now key in the information so you're using form under form you have some attributes you have the method that's post so under method you're having the post and the get so you need to specify specifically identify what type of method that you want and uh, you also have to know which which is the best you have post and get so the problem with get you now display the passwords and other items when uh, you prompt that uh, you're dealing with that part action so you know talking about action it's now what will happen after you click that part any what you, it will direct you to a certain page so you're talking about that you should create the form then after using the open after opening the form then you should also end the form to proceed so you're creating the text boxes so text boxes is under uh, checkbox and everything you have to identify clearly identify that under the type so under type you may give a text type of checkbox type you have a drop down menu you also have a very many things that you can do under that so let us talk about the text boxes so it use this you type input type equal to text then name that's the name name this this one in displayed in quotes now is the one that uh, will be displayed on the screen so the value and then the size you will limit the size this is optional you can limit the size so you're talking about the name value size and maximum length attributes are optional you know the mass that you feel at that point so you have the attributes so you have everything in html and also the tags that you'll be using for example you're talking about the body and everything you also have talk about the attributes that you'll be using at that point so guys the attribute you after the text box uh, the name attribute you also have the value the size and the max length each performing different functions so name is used to identify the table sorry the text box to the processing script the value attribute is used to specify the text that will initially appear in the text box the file attribute is, uh, is used to define the size of the box in characters and the max length attribute is used to to give specifically the length that the length of data that will be keen in the at that point so example of a text box uh, like you say i have showed you some in some pages back uh, they will be using uh, that form so you have this text box so you can see text that's now you're using input type text text now the input type you now you'll be using text that stands for text box and then you have a name name that's if anything that is uh, put in quotes will be displayed at that point the is what will be displayed on the screen so you're having the first name there's the value first name also have the size you specify the size and then as you can see the code and this is now the output creating larger text areas so you talking about the text area you need to specify the rows and uh, columns that you want so that's that's definitely about uh, what items uh, will be keyed in that text box and the size of the text box so you need to specify the text area name rows specify the number of rows then columns 
of uh, that for that point then you this now the text area again you close the tag for the text area the wrap attribute causes the cursor to move automatically to, to the next line so example of text area so you specify uh, that's the comments rows 10 columns 5 and wrap just means that when you type in and then it will automatically the cursor will automatically move the next line so that's very important so the next thing that we're going to talk about uh, under the forms is our uh, radio buttons to create a radio button you type these are uh, this the syntax input input type is radio name is just uh, anything there value data then label this just the syntax for the radio button I should be using that where data is the text that will be sent to the server if the button is checked and the label is the text that identifies the button to the user so size example of radio buttons this is the coding here so we'll ha we are having uh, three items to be displayed and then you'll be selecting one of large medium and small so at this point you're creating after we are done with the checkboxes so you are we're done with these other things the radio buttons will be moving to the checkbox now checkbox you can check several items maybe multiple of them but the problem with the radio buttons you only have to select one that's a, a limit to select one so this is the syntax for the checkboxes in uh, the part of type you replace maybe the text with a checkbox you know meaning the checkbox so replace we will be using the radio button so you we only replace the part of a checkbox sorry of a button with checkbox and then it will proceed so if you give a group of radio buttons or checkboxes the same name the user will only be able to select one button or box at a time so this only selects one so it will limit you to that uh, you select only one thing at a time so creating drop down menus so you replace still replace the same type so select so drop down menus now you'll be selecting some things but so you have now the items to be displayed before you select so that's why you're calling it drop down menus so maybe that will appear when you're selecting something so you know when you click at some point you have multiple multiple things to select from so you click at that point then it will be displayed which i will show you practically after this uh video i'll do another video to show you what we'll be talking about so you also have the option option value so that's the first one the second one as you move on so drop down menu b which is favorite fruit that's one will be displayed on the screen break then the break tag is used uh, to create the break tag means that this next thing that will be keyed it will begin from on a new line so it you know, will be separating from the separating the two so you'll be talking about the option so you have to use the option this tag of option and also select select now means uh, you have to choose one from have to choose from the from the others given so creating a submit button so to create it, a submit button type input then type is submit this now means that you prompting the page to move or to process the information given and then move to the next thing. If you've already been doing this, if the information keyed in is wrong, you won't achieve the target, uh, the, the, the specified items that you want. For example, guys, you'll be talking about uh, keying in the wrong email. So if you're missing the art symbol, 
it now won't prompt you to do the right thing or move the next step it will ask you to like you correct river you enter the correct mail at that point so if you would like the buttons to say something other than submit use the value attribute so for example input type then submit value by now so as i've showed now when you click on by now it now get you to the next level where you now the information that you've created in will be processed maybe you are taking some charts or some items then you'll now be told that you're eligible to that or the information if is wrong or not as expected now it won't give you the perfect output so guys you have to identify the correct information so the next thing you're going to talk about under forms you have the reset buttons now the reset buttons like uh, the undo button on the microsoft office so here to create a reset button just type input type then the type at this point you use reset so the value attribute can be used in the same way to change the text that appears on the button so guys you're done with the with the forms so guys thanks for watching so consider subscribing to my youtube channel so if you have any questions just comment down below but remember guys as i've said i'll i'm doing i'm right away doing another video on how to do these uh, practically as i'll be uh, as we have talked about we have talked about the forms just a preview also i've talked about the text box the radio buttons the checkbox the drop down menus also the submit and reset buttons so guys if you have any question just comment down below in the comment section and don't forget uh, to click that bell icon to enable notifications and please subscribe to my youtube channel because i'll be showing you more and more and let's uh, let's connect it so thanks for watching